I used to think like a man. What? At a very young age, I used to think I need to have car, I need to have house, I need to have my own business, my own company working for me. At a very young age, before moving to Ghana, I was in school, I was thinking of I need to finish the school and start to work. It was just too much in hurry. But when I came to Ghana, things was different. I began to see life more differently. I don't feel the need of being in hurry. To do these things, I don't feel like, oh, if I don't do these things, oh, my life will not be better. I begin to take life one at a time, life very easy. So that hodge, that rush, that zeal to make money begin to reduce in me. Right now, I only think of I need to make money, but not in a rush. If the money come, fine. If it don't come, we are still moving forward, thinking that one day the money will come but when i was in nigeria <laughs> it was not like that that is one two i don't think that i failed in life what i mean that in nigeria before i come to ghana I used to check time there is no time when you miss when i want to do something i'm not able to do it i feel like ah there's no time. I need to get these things done. I need to put things in order. That's rush. And there is one particular statement I used to think in my mind in Nigeria. I have to give account of every day and every week. So when the week passed by, in a day passed that I didn't give account of how I spent my day, how this day was very fruitful to me. I feel sad if I was not able to get things done. I'm so hungry. But when I came to Ghana, if I want to do something, I'm not able to achieve that goal. I don't feel bad. I don't feel, oh, after all, well, time is going on, I'm late in life. I don't feel those things anymore. But in Nigeria, I was thinking of the time. My mate is doing this. My mate is doing that. I need to also be doing those things. But coming to Ghana, I don't have mates. I don't think of mates. I don't think of somebody that past me or what I'm supposed to achieve, I've not achieved it. I don't think of those things anymore. I now see life that everything will work according to the will of God. So that hurt of feeling that I've missed things in life, I'm late in life, is no longer there in me. Another thing that I've changed in me in Ghana is that I don't think of what you think about me. I just wake up in the morning and live my life. I don't have to please anyone. When I mean about that, before coming to Ghana, I have to think of what you think about me. My dress code, I'm looking. Because in Nigeria, if you don't have money, you have to prove to people that you have it. If you don't have this particular thing, you have to show to the world that, hey, me too, I'm doing well. But in Ghana, yeah, I don't feel like that. I can literally go out with anything I want. Any clothes I wore, I can go out with that. I don't think of you have to like me or I'm dressing on point. Because in Nigeria, you have to dress in a standard. You have to always look like on top. You have to always give people that impression that you are not <laughs> low. You are high. Because Nigeria wants to see you that you are high standard. You are, you know. But in Ghana, yeah. I've really, really changed a lot. When I look back and I feel, wow, is this me? I don't care about what you think about me. I don't think, I don't care if you think I don't wear human hair. I don't think you think I don't wear nails. I don't do my nails. I don't do my, I don't feel, I don't really think about those things. But in Nigeria, <laughs> If I don't do those things, I feel like, oh, my friends will laugh at me. People, what people will say, my neighbors. You know, even going to church on Sunday, I have to look in a certain way. I have to look presentable. You know, to prove a point that me too, I'm there. But in Ghana, yeah, anything I like, I wear. If I like, I don't wear it. I don't wear it because I want to show you. I don't wear it because I want to please you. I just wear it because I love to wear it and... That is how I go my day. And that has really changed about me. And I'm, if I, when I traveled to Nigeria a few months back, I was just being me. Because that mindset of I have to prove a point to somebody is no longer there. So I just 
want to go see my my friend or my brother or my sisters i just pick any cadre where i want to wear and i go because that mind of i have to prove a point for you is no longer there and we have changed a lot i am happy another thing that I've changed about me in ghana is that i don't look people common oh my god before coming to ghana if you achieve one thing if i achieve one thing in nigeria maybe i bought something you have not bought it or i got admission all those things before coming as a young girl i feel oh, me i'm arrive i'm on top of you so but i start looking my friends lesser looking them some way but since coming to ghana those things have really changed about me i don't look at anybody that you have to be in a certain way before you be my friend or you have to be in a certain way before we are mates or class i don't have class anymore i don't have those competition mindset i have to no 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 no. those things have actually drastically removed from my body and i just see everybody as normal whether you are older than me whether you are i'm older than you whether you are young i see everybody and i respect every being i don't see anybody as different i really treat humans and Ghana have taught me all these things. I have changed because if I didn't come here, I would still have that mindset. I love to help people. Maybe because of the people I come across in Ghana that actually inculcate this thing in me, I feel everybody as normal. I see everybody as equal. Because I've had friends in because I've had friends in Ghana who they don't live in Ghana yet. But when they come to Ghana, I see the way they are really humble. That's what makes me so humble. There's a particular friend of mine, is a very dear friend of mine, who I learned that particular thing from. He's, he's a Ghanaian, but he does not live in Ghana. The way he treats people when he comes to Ghana, the way he's so humble to people, he talks to everybody, they, they go to the restaurant, the way he talks to the reception, when we go to anywhere, the way this person treats people. That's what made me adapt that system that I've not even traveled to the U.S. But look at somebody that traveled to the U.S. and he came back to Ghana. He's a Ghanaian and this is the way he's treating people. Very, very humble. And I take that from that person. I learned it and I said, no, I'm going to apply this in my life. So that idea of I have to be proud, I have to be doing this, I take it out of me. I take it out of me and I'm enjoying that I did because that pride is no longer there in me. Honestly, I learned that in Ghana. Another thing I learned in Ghana is how people used to say, please. When somebody say please, it cool your temper. That idea you have to be in a hurry to raise your voice is no longer in me. Even <laughs> it's no longer in me. If I want to talk to somebody now, I calm my tone. No longer I have to prove a point by raising my voice or trying to prove a point. Everything is not done. And I'm happy that all these things I've enjoyed. That make me a human. All these things change when I came to Ghana. Today when people see me, they say, oh, you look Ghanaian, you look more calm, you look this. It was never like this when I came. Yeah, person, but Ghana bring this all these beautiful things in me, and I am grateful. At least I came to Ghana to learn these things and make this correction in me. I thank you to all my friends, to everyone that make Ghana happy that I came to Ghana. If I didn't come to Ghana, I would not be able to learn these things and change these things about me. So sorry if I didn't welcome you before starting this video. I was just carried away by sharing this experience with you guys. Thank you for watching to this end. I appreciate it. Please drop your comment on what you think of this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. Stay blessed.